Hi, my name is Gareth Alexander. I'm the course director for Architecture, Technology and Management. The course is a, a four-year course. Third year is placement, so that's a, a critical aspect that allows students to come back in the final year with that edge, having completed placement, that allows them to perform at the best of their ability. And basically, we, we take it from first steps in first year, where we look at design from a technical point of view, uh, and follow that right through second year and then in the final year pushing the boundaries in terms of the, the technical ability of the students once they get the final year. The difference with architectural technology is that it provides the bridge between the concept and the, the, the construction. So a lot of courses might focus maybe on the construction side or the design side, whereas our course bridges that gap and allows the blend of uh, contemporary design but also with that technical knowledge making sure that designs are practically buildable. We have a, a number of lecturers that, that teach the, the core modules and they know a lot about architectural technology but we're also able to draw on a breadth of experience from other lecturers who will be able to provide specialist information so it's a nice mix there in terms of the, the variety of lectures that we have on the course. Some of them are, are doctors and professors and very good at, at research in their own area but again then we have that practical understanding of what architectural technology also is. The students will learn uh, how to use software but also know the reason why they're drawing things. So there are a lot of science and technical aspects to the course. You need to have a good appreciation of things that will affect the building, lighting, acoustics, sound. Not that you have to be an expert in those areas but you do understand how those various things interplay and influence the design. The course has that mix of lectures along with the more practical sessions where students are drawing. So typically we'll start off in first year doing sketches and then move into doing drawings on computer and those will gradually become more complicated but again it's that underpinning knowledge of understanding that you're not just drawing lines, you're, you're trying to communicate the technical information uh, and that's, that's what we cover in the course. It's very much led by what happens in industry and the, the briefs that we set for coursework are, are very realistic in terms of what uh, people will be doing in, in a practice setting. Over the last few years we've had very good uh, employment statistics, 90% for the last year and in the 80% the, the two years before that. A lot of people will assume that our graduates may go and work for uh, an architectural company, but over my number of years in the university, some of our graduates do then go on and set up their own practice. They can work uh, maybe in partnership with someone who's a chartered architect or a chartered building surveyor, but also some of our graduates go and work for contractors, uh, health and social trusts, education library boards, and really the, there's, there's a wide range of opportunities there, even internationally.